Bachelor's Way, Making Secondhand Chic. Okay, hi. Today I want to talk about the sectional we bought for the basement. We bought it kind of a long time ago at the ReStore and it was only 50 bucks. But I loved it because it was really long. It's like nine feet one way and eight feet the other and it's really big. And I couldn't go wrong for that price. It was a little frumpy and a little dirty, but it was like structurally sound. So here's what I did and I've started the process of fixing it up. So these were the covers and I just took them off. My covers um, were zippered on, so I just took them off. A couple of the seams were starting to pull just a little bit, so I went back through and re-stitched those from the inside and added some top stitching to help reinforce it. And then I just sprayed them really well with some um, like spray and wash, you know, like a laundry cleaner. And I put them in my washing machine on Delicate Cycle and I washed all of them and they came out beautiful. I can't, there's only one spot on one of them, a little tiny, fairly pink spot. I don't know what it was, but that's the only thing that didn't come out. So they look great. So once I did that, I turned my attention to the cushions. So you can see, let's look right here. See how that's, they were, this is actually one of the better ones. They were really pulling um, off bad and stuff, the batting or the Daycron. So what I did is I just pulled them all out and then I pulled this off of them. When I did that though, I found out that whoever made this couch originally didn't really care, or I don't know what their deal was, but some of the cushions, this is the worst one. They like, I don't know if they ran out of foam or what, but they just like glued sections together. This is like a seam and this is a seam of foam. They just glued them together. Well, they were starting to come apart. So when you sat on the couch, it, the cushion was really funky. So. I didn't have it in my budget right now to replace this cushion because foam is kind of expensive. So I will eventually probably come back and replace this one. There were two others, but they just had like um, just a little tiny strip right here, which is can be on the back of the couch underneath the back cushion. So you really won't ever even feel it. So I put those back on, I re-glued them. Um, but this one I'll probably eventually replace. But for now I didn't, couldn't afford it. So here's what I did. I re-glued them with spray foam or spray glue and reattached them, which was pretty good, and it holds really pretty good, and I think that's what they originally did. Anyway, so I uh, sewed them with a string all along here. And then, I'll show you in just a second, I'm gonna wrap it, I bought uh, fresh, you can see here, I bought fresh, Daycron, and so that's gonna rewrap each one of these. I took off the old and I rewrapped the new, and I'll show you that in just a second. But first, I just wanted to tell you, my cushions weren't necessarily smelly or anything, but I just wanted them to be really fresh. And so I took all of them while I just had them in the foam stage, and I sprinkled them with a mixture of baking soda that had a few drops of lavender oil in it, and I just let it sit on it for like 30 minutes or more, and then I vacuumed it off, and you cannot believe how fresh my cushion smelled. I mean, they were better than brand new. The Dacron that I got, the batting, <clears throat> um, just get, I got a little bit thicker, dense. It's, it's a little bit denser than really, really thin that you can almost not feel. This you can, feels pretty good and, and it has a little bounce back to it. So that makes it a little bit nicer. So look for that when you're at the store. Now I'm just gonna get ready to wrap this one. I basically just wrapped it like a present and then I sewed up all of the seams by hand with the needle and thread. And here's how she looks, all sewn together. Okay, so I marked all of the zippers when I took them off so I know which case they went back on. Now I've got this one wrapped and I'm ready to put the cover on. I'm just gonna start with the top corners. Put my hand in there.
might seem like it's really tight and overstuffed, but that's what you want because it's going to get squashed down from people sitting on it. You can see behind me, these are some of the cushions that I've already finished. They are just beautiful and comfy now. Let me show you. Um, you can see they're all, I mean, they're clean now. They're gorgeous. And then see how plump they are? I just covered them with that Daycron and they fit in here gorgeous. Okay, now that my cushions were done, I had to turn my attention to the base part of the couch that I couldn't throw in my washing machine. It had a few dirty spots like here and here. So I have a Kirby vacuum cleaner that has an attachment that you can clean upholstery with. And I just purchased some dry foam shampoo. It's actually for carpet or upholstery. And I went to town. Okay, so you put the foam on. It's this white fuzzy look and then it's just gonna dry like that. After it is completely dry, you vacuum it off, put your couch cushions back on, and you have a couch that looks like it's brand new and it smells brand new. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.